Welcome to the first ever Friday Flicks, and today we're going to talk about the tone curve. What's up guys, and before we get started, I just want to go over exactly what the Friday Flicks is. Friday Flicks is essentially here to take your photography to the next level. Short, sharp videos that won't take up too much of your time, that will go through a few tips, a few tricks, a few photography hacks, that will just give you that little bit of an edge when you're first starting out. For today's video, we're gonna look at the tone curve. Now the tone curve can seem a wee bit intimidating, especially when you're looking at the color channels. But for today, we're gonna to keep it nice and simple. We're just gonna look at the point curve. The point curve allows us to play around with the whites, the blacks, the highlights, and the shadows. This will allow us to give our own very tiny changes to, to get our own nice style. I use it without fail every single time I'm editing a photo. Let's jump into Lightroom so we can see how we use the point curve to set the base for our edit. As you can see, we've gone into Lightroom and we've selected this photo. The reason why I've selected this photo is because you can see a nice bit of rain here, very nice sort of style. Got a nice bit of light coming in here, which we can create some real soft, nice tones with. And then you've got two subjects, nice umbrella, taking a photo. So it tells quite a nice story within it being quite a cinematic photo. And to start with, we're not gonna to touch the colors or anything like that. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our tone curve and we're gonna find our point curve here, ignoring the red, the green, and the blue channels for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a point here. This will control our highlights. A point here, which is gonna be an anchor point. And we're gonna create a point here, which is gonna create our shadows. Uh, is where we're, sorry, we're gonna play with our shadows. First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the highlights and I'm gonna decrease the shadows. That will add a nice little bit of natural contrast. Now I can see it's gonna be a wee bit dark, but we'll come back to that in a minute. So we've got a nice S curve here, highlighting the highlights, decreasing the shadows. So then it becomes a slightly more moody and dramatic photo. Now this isn't necessarily my style. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soften the whites a bit there and I'm gonna create some shade in the black, which gives it a much more cinematic look in my opinion. Now, we can go a little bit further and we can add a point here and we can add a point here. That wasn't very good, but what we can do is just take that a little bit higher and then we're gonna move this up a bit and we're gonna move this up a bit. We've done one that there. And then we're just gonna slide that around just a fraction more. And then what we've created there is a nice, soft looking cinematic look. Now, you don't have to stop here. You could play around with it for hours. I'm gonna leave it there because I quite like that as a starting point. That for me is a perfect base for me to then add the color grade, adjust the clarity and the haze, and basically from there, develop the photo. And that sums up the tone curve, and more specifically, the point curve within Lightroom Classic. Now, you can use Lightroom Mobile. So for example, if you take photos with a phone, or you put the, put the photos from your camera straight onto your phone, you can edit them in Lightroom Mobile, and you can still use the point curve, you can still color grade, you can still adjust the light, the shadows, and it makes photography so much more accessible. So give it a try and let me know how you get on. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more, and if you really enjoyed it, turn those notifications on. Until next time, peace.